Hello everyone, I thought I'd do another quick video on the US election and the final count. So I'm very confident of a Biden win. Um, it's going to be scrape over the line. It should have been a landslide considering the man he was up against, but uh, I'll have to look into that. Um, yeah, it's. I think it was kind of known and I mean, I'd said and sort of every sane person said that Donald Trump would... Um, would call it fake unless he was winning you know and now there he is you know it's a fraud you know it's a disgrace what's going on it's corruption you know i mean i got a friend on facebook who said that sounded more like um woody allen than donald trump um but woody allen's more like you know i, I met my wife in the love tongue yeah she was dicking it you know so it's more like that but um i suppose there are some similarities you know they're both from new york and they both fancy their daughters so yeah maybe that's uh Anyway, something to consider. So, yeah, I, um, I suppose with Trump now, this is his only option, really, because um, it looks like he's, I mean, he's lost the popular vote and he's going to lose the Electoral College. I'm very confident of that. But the thing is, the guardrails were taken off him a while ago. There used to be some sensible people in his administration, so there was some kind of uh, defence. Some people would tell him no and say, well, you can't do that. No, you can't do that. That's illegal. No, you can't press the, the nuclear button, whatever. You know, th there were some sane people in the room. Those people have left the building now. He has just got the sur surrounded by sycophants, the most loyal Trumpists. That's all there is left now. So they will kind of, you know, bolster his ego and say, yeah, yeah, you could try this, you could try that, you know. Um, well, now it doesn't seem like there's any legal standing for it. So I, I think most of these lawsuits he's filing, they'll get chucked pretty quickly. Uh, and hopefully it can be resolved. And, um, you know, because I, I think he's, he's a goner, thankfully, you know, after four years of this madness. But... Um, yeah, who knows what's going on in his head, you know, I mean, what a, what a dangerous place to be, really. But, uh, yeah, so as I say, it's like, you know, it's like Waco or something, you know. Uh, a lot of those people thought, well, this David Koresh, you know, he's a fucking loon, you know, we need to get out of here. But, you know, now he's just got the most loyal people left, the most devo devoted uh, followers are, are left with him. So, who knows, but it's nice to see him panic, in a way, it's nice to see him flailing and panicking and... Um, because deep down, I mean, Donald Trump is a deeply unhappy guy. You know, anyone who, who sort of constantly has to boast and brag all the time, like the, his self-worth must be, well, there just must be nothing there. It's just a void. And so that's why he just constantly has to big himself up because he, he knows there's, there's very little, very little inside him, really. And uh, I think he feels pretty worthless. And I suppose that's some small comfort that um, that he's such an unhappy person and, and his family as well. I mean, they're, they're kind of, you know, they're addicted to money. And um, I don't, I mean, even you, there was a tape that came out of Melania Trump, who I used to think was just kind of, yeah, she's just a gold digger. Just, uh, you know, she married this guy and she's involved in this thing now and she, and she doesn't want to be. But actually, you hear this tape of Melania Trump and she's, she's a pretty awful person herself, you know, so... Um, I would recommend if you, you haven't seen it, you listen to that, you know, find out what sort of person she is. Um, and it's also one of her mates who recorded her, you know, and, and on this tape, one of her best mates sells the, their conversations to the press. I mean, they're, they're, that's one of her only friends uh, completely crossed her like that. So these are very unhappy family, the Trump family. And thankfully, they'll, they'll soon, be, soon be gone from America. Um, but yeah, I think Mitch McConnell... He unbelievably he stayed in the Senate, so that's the only problem that the Republicans will still control the Senate, which is a shame because they will block any decent legislation and you know the help that Americans need. You know, coming out of coronavirus, they need significantly more help than they've been given so far. It's incredible how little little uh, help they've been given by the by the U.S. government in terms of furlough schemes and all this kind of thing. They just haven't really done it. So. Um, but Mitch McConnell can't stand Trump either behind the scenes. He knows he's, he's a crazy person. So I think he'll be glad to see the back of Trump and he'll probably think he can regain control of the Republican Party. But I, I don't know. I, you could see a civil war going on yet, and I hope there is, because Trump has such huge support among the Republican Party base that they will see any kind of move to push him out and say, OK, look, look, time's up, you've got to go. You know, will the, will the, the loyal... Republicans, the little Trumpists, the MAGA heads, will they turn on Mitch McConnell? I don't know. Um, it'll be interesting to see, but, uh, you know, even Fox News is kind of calling it and I think prepping people for saying that, you know, his time's up. And as soon as Rupert Murdoch thinks Trump is no longer useful to him, they'll get the hold of Fox News to turn on him and say, denounce Trumpism probably and say it was all terrible. And, you know, I mean, 
it's just a terrible, terrible operation. But anyway, it's good news. Trump is on the way out. I'm very confident of that. Um, next up, we'll have President Biden, who won't be screaming fraud into the void on Twitter and at three o'clock in the morning. You know, um, I'm sure he'll be asleep by then. He's an, he's an old chap. He'll, he'll need his shut eye. So uh, anyway, uh, yeah, I hope everyone's well. About to come into lockdown too. Um, yeah, just uh, remember, follow the rules when you're out, distance, mask, all that stuff. And uh, hopefully it's just a month and then we can, you know, look forward to 2021 being a much better year than 2020 has been. But yeah, good news that um, Trump is on the way out. That's the main message. I'm very confident of that. So yeah, take care, everyone.